let's start with the public relations itself why are we here what is public relations i want you all to focus on couple of things here that is it is a way of disseminating information either by an individual but in our case it's an organization to the public in order to influence their perception in our case of course we want them to know about toastmasters we want them to come and visit our clubs and hopefully they like what they see and they become members our visual brand elements of toastmasters is just four it's the logo it's the colors that we use it's the fonts that we use and it's the images that we use a combination of this is what toastmasters branding is all about toastmasters gives you various options so these are some of the logos that we can use these are not all the logos by the way these are some of the logos that we can use in this particular case on a dark background depending on the situation you have to find the right logo of toastmasters when you are creating your content okay and for this particular year which is our 100th anniversary they have released some new logos which we can use this year i highly recommend all of you all do them go and find this 100 year logos use them in your material colors i have been working with canva and branding for more than 5 years i consider myself an expert and i don't remember the color codes i keep with me on my table this kind of a small sheet where i can refer to the color tables something like this this is actually the print out of that these are the codes that we have to use when we are creating our toastmaster brand content if you are using the free version of canva then you will have to type these codes every time you want to create some colors these are the color codes of the palette of toastmasters and about 2 years ago they introduced something called gradients this is basically the same colors but using shades to make a little more impact in your design so we can use gradients and it turns out it's quite easy to do it in canva i will show you how to use gradients and then they have introduced another aspect of colors called transparencies and most people get confused with how to use transparencies if you are new to canva if you are new to branding if you are new to pr avoid transparencies just stick with colors and gradients as you become more familiar maybe you can try to use this because there are very strict rules on how you can use this transparencies these are some examples of how they can be used that is transparencies so colors gradients transparencies then we talked about fonts and it turns out that there are only two fonts that we can use in when we create content and we have to remember this fonts the main fonts are called gotham and myriad pro but those fonts are usually very expensive to purchase they are paid fonts so as toastmasters we are non profit we can't afford to buy and use paid fonts toastmasters has provided us alternates which are free so if you are using canva primarily we will use montserrat remember the name montserrat and sos sans pro these are the two fonts that we will be using Montserrat is for your headings so if you are putting your club name you can use Montserrat for that if you are putting other body text you will use Sos Sans Pro for that two new fonts were introduced very recently i think they were introduced as part of the 100th anniversary celebrations Corinthia and Luxury Script these are meant to be used if you are celebrating something somebody's birthday or maybe your an anniversary of the a uh, club for example so that time you can use this celebratory fonts now images i have not put anything whenever you are creating any pr material and you want to use images use images of people that look engaged who are networking presenting who are speaking in a public speaking forum maybe in a contest environment those are the type of images that we should use and there are multiple sources from where you can get these images toastmasters provides a nice library of images that you can use as is i personally prefer using my club members images and those are the best images to use because when you create the pr content with your club members 
whoever is coming to your club meeting know what to expect here was one poster i found and i want you all to tell me out of this four elements that we discussed logo colors fonts and images how many did this poster the creator got it right most of you all agree that the only thing that was correct in this uh, from a branding perspective was the logo they got the logo right the colors they are not the colors that we saw earlier right the fonts they are not montserrat or so sans pro this look some kind of fancy fonts and the images we were just discussing the images should be of people engaged networking but here it's a image of a um, nice very tasty dish by the way and the problem i have with this is that if a public somebody who has never heard of toastmasters comes across this and says okay i will come and visit this club the expectation may be that they will get this food in the meeting or they will learn how to prepare this dish not about public speaking not about uh, leadership right so when it it all the club members might understand what they are doing but remember pr is not for club members pr is for public to make them come to your club meeting these are some of the posters i had created last year or every poster that you see here got first place in our pr uh, awards that were handed out so here we can see that the idea is to show people give some kind of messages like what they can expect what if they join toastmasters here for example how to become an accomplished public speaker come and join us on this date there is not no information about club number district number area number it's not needed because public doesn't care about it they only care about what is of benefit to them here we are talking about the power of effective feedback how you can improve your techniques for providing feedback these are the things that will interest people professionals when they want to develop their communication skills they want to develop the the art of giving feedback to their employees these are the type of messaging that will attract them to come to your club and this was me at the district annual conference trying to carry all the awards uh, out of the conference hall anyway so that's the idea when we create pr content that we need to reach out to public make sure that uh, we provide the right information when you create any poster ask yourself this question who's the target audience who are you trying to attract you are trying to attract guests what will make them vis visit your club the only thing we provide in the toastmasters club is to speak well and to learn leadership skills so those are the messages we want to see on your flyer and uh, finally have i conveyed the correct information to manage expectation they shouldn't come expecting a nice dish a tasty looking dish and all they find is uh, people speaking right so manage the expectation that they're coming here to improve their public speaking they're coming here to become leaders